442 on Stephen's Ayat Island. And all around us are asleep. And we are up. So kayaks in, Teddington Lock, tidal. We are on the tidal reach. I am wearing a silly hat. Those are noisy geese and ducks. And that's not a beach. Although we started really early, the tide had already fallen some by the time we got into the tidal reach. We aimed to get as far down the river as possible before having to get out and wait for the high tide again. We made it to Putney, where the Thames Rowing Club went above and beyond to welcome us and make us comfortable anyway, whilst we waited I need for food. to rise. And where better to go? And the Thames Rowing Club Followed by Cleavers on the hoof with stuff. <laughs> and here we have the beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. And you are? I'm Hello, Nikki. Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Hello. Really of course. Oh, Eat from this place. There's burgers. And then and there's burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Our huge thanks to them, their bar staff and manager, and Cleavers on the Hoof. The Port of London Authority has responsibility for safety in the area between Teddington and almost down to South End. There's some heavy and fast shipping operating in this area. The advice and guidance that they gave us was invaluable and we found them to be absolute superstars when it came to us asking for advice from them both before the trip and during it. Absolutely engage with the PLO. Their control rooms are excellent and super helpful. There's a couple of places in London where the tide drops and reveals a beach and this is one of them. It leads up onto the south bank and immediately puts you in the heart of the city. Hence, we have ice cream.
to recognise the fact that it built in south facing. So when the sun came up, it hit that, which acted like a mirror and was burning the paint off the tiles in the street. So they had to put those uh, horizontal slats in to reduce the light. Oh, 